welcome back, Pokemon Go players, to another episode of the Purify Podcast. Today is November 1st, 2021. I am your host, Luis Palacios, with my co-host, Grace. Hey, it's your boy, Pokemon Trigger, please, and we're back at it again after spooky season. Bro. How are you doing, Luis? <laughs> I'm doing all right. I wanted to do a spooky thing, but unfortunately, it's not Halloween anymore. <laughs> you can totally do it. I mean, it's the day after Halloween. Why do you make me spend? I thought we were going to do, like, customs and all, but then you bailed on me. Wow. <laughs> Costumes. Costumes. Made outfit right there. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, that's that's why. That's why I wanted it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Lord, 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 Lord. That would be hilarious. Anyhow, anywho, any somehow. Welcome back, everybody. Chris, I hope you had a wonderful week. Uh, yeah, it's good, it's good. It's good? Alright, well, we're here once again to talk about Pokemon news, updates, and ranting about the game, because we love the game just as much as you do. Don't forget that, uh, to mention to everybody that we are part of the Professor Network. Please check us out, professornetwork.com slash Podcast. Wonderful people to work with. I don't think he's updated this point, signing like forever anyway, so what's the difference? <laughs> Anyhow, we'll definitely always, always... Talk to them. Dude, I really wish I could have actually been in Safari Zone this week and they were having so much fun in Philadelphia. I I saw a few pictures. Um I I don't know. I, I don't think it made a huge difference to me. Um, other than, you know, getting uh to meet a lot of the people that are very prominent uh with playing Pokemon Go. That's the thing, man. That's um, the experience our to meet boss, people. for one thing. Yeah. I mean I wanted to see Ken again and everybody else from yeah. the Laura podcast, but you know, JT Balor was there, uh Through Inferno was there. I mean, I can tell for sure that we can before we go into our recaps, there has been a bit of a change switch uh shift in a lot of the Pokemon Go content creators out there. You know, the podcast community is still going large. You know, everybody still shares all their thoughts and feedbacks on, on the game. Um, mm-hmm. You know, the TikTokers are one thing. Some of the streamers are still a thing. But the YouTube, man, the YouTube has actually gone down in a love or a bad thing. <laughs> I don't see as many YouTubers actually talking about Pokemon Go, aside from probably Go Battle League and everything. But the big dogs, you know, Trainer Tips, Mystic 7, Reversal, they're, they're we- lowering their standards now. Would you say that they've moved over to Twitch almost completely? Or, because, like, I know a lot of them are streaming now. Yeah. And uh, I almost feel like they don't want to, you know, get out and move <laughs> get out and move on stream, you know. And that's not me roasting them. In all honesty, it is a lot easier to just, you know, sit at home and stream if you know you're still going to get the viewers. Right. And, I, I mean, but that's another talk, right? <laughs> well, some of them are still streaming and some of them are doing their own things, but the, the whole YouTube, like, spectacular and the big dogs are kind of, like, stepping down from their thrones and now they only have, okay. like, maybe one or two now. I mean, so it two dots. Tri- okay. So the one that is still going hard on content, at least every good chunk of the week, is so it two dots. Uh, mm-hmm. Then after that we have Trainer Tips, which he only posts like a good once a week kind of thing when it comes to Pokemon Go, unless there's some <laughs> big event or big news happening, anyways. Um, then we have Pokemon Marcel Holly, but out of the, those three, at least, actually not even Pokemon Marcel Holly, yeah, Pokemon Marcel Holly, and then Mystic Seven. Then after that, you know, Reversal is not there anymore. Uh, some other guys that I know is not there anymore. They're not com- they're not producing the same content anymore. So when mm-hmm. it comes to just YouTube in general to talk about news and updates and you know cinematic stuff and everything, they're the only ones that are doing anything at this point. And only I want to say only three out of the four that I mentioned are now affiliated with Niantic. So it's kind of hard to see, kind of sad to see the dynamic change. But I guess you know. That's how they want to do it. That's up to them. You know, I'm not going to say that it's it, it's not a bad thing because they have moved on to other and better things sometimes. And mm-hmm. they're doing the things that they want to do. I mean, they're not going to just be tied down to one game. And this game, as much as we want to, this game can actually last another five years or it can just be done in a few more. In a few more. So with all the content that we yeah. usually have for this game, I'm pretty sure that we have quite a bit of years still going about it. But I did. Yeah. It's it's getting to that point where it's time to move on to new things, you know. 
Yeah, I mean, uh, even even when players leave, uh, you can still remember them. Yeah. Like uh, when they were playing with you, you know. Yeah, definitely. They they're always going to be part of the community wherever they come from, whatever they do, and uh, hopefully, whatever they do in the future, they're gonna do something better and and stronger, you know, because they have learned already yeah. from our own community here. So that's good. Anyways, without being more of a sad kind of thing and see less people in the game these days, uh, let's go ahead and recap some things about it. All right, all right. Well, Shinies and Handos, what do we got? Well, let me take a look. Uh, I think most of mine were from uh, the makeup event, actually. All but, right. But uh, let me take a look. Hmm. I don't think I got any Hondos. Oh, wait. Uh, no. No, I think I talked about him last week. Yeah. <laughs> about the, uh... So... Uh... Jamask. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, uh... I talked about the Jamask uh, last week. Yeah. Um, so it's gonna start out with a shiny dark ride, uh, that I caught the 27th. Nice, go battle the then, board. uh... I think so. I think so. Uh, actually, no, it's caught with a Premier Ball, so... Okay, so right. Definitely not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I started out the event, uh, for the Philly makeup, uh, mm -hmm. with a shiny Ponyta. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> there's gonna be a theme. I, let, let's see if you guys can <laughs> get it. And then, uh, obviously I got the, uh, the, uh, Voltorb that was guaranteed shiny from the, uh, special research. Um, which we got the first time anyways. Yeah. But, uh, then we got a, uh, a shiny Yanma and then I got a shiny, uh, Poliwag. Very happy about that. Mm. And another shiny horsey. Um, so nothing new really. Uh, I guess I finished like two families maybe, but I don't know. It's, it, it's a grind, man. I, I know you got some cool stuff. I, I know there's one that uh, <laughs> was really exciting to see. Yeah. So, Let's hear about it. So for me in my haul this week, I can for sure say that I don't have any handles this week. Surprisingly. What? I know. And I played the entire the entire event here. Uh, Who are whole, you? I'm, <laughs> um, I'm your boss. How about that? <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Um, but no, I, um, I played Safari Zone pretty well, uh, my experience with it, of course, I went out, uh, I was a little bit late to the start of it, and, but I was doing alright afterwards, I went to three different places, uh, between, uh, GT Bray Park, Riverwalk, and, uh, SCF, mm -hmm. so I kinda did, like, a loop around between two, because I did actually wanted to do the tasks, uh, for each one of yeah. the stops that I could find. At least the ones that give me Pokemons, because every other one was just Stardust and all that stuff, which I didn't really care about. Uh, but yeah, I actually got a pretty haul of Shinies this week. I just want to make sure that I get another spawn before I, I check them. Okay, it's a Sun Current. <laughs> um, <laughs> you have to wait. Yeah. So I got a total of 12 Shinies? Yes, 12 Shinies. Yes. Ooh. I got a total of 12 Shinies throughout the Safari Zone. I started with a research tax shiny Bronson for Chris over here. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's a lucky coin for me, an <laughs> unlucky coin. Yeah, and then after that, I actually, of course, got my research done, the social research for Safari Zone, so I got another shiny bolter, guarantee, as always, crappy IBs, like never before. <laughs> I had the same CP, too. I thought it was kind of funny. <laughs> then after that, I was able to get a shiny Heatmore, I was like, I was so happy to finally get this on. Like, I finally did. And Hitmore is in the other side of the world right now. So, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Happy, happy, happy. <laughs> then after that, um, let me check my spawn. Uh, Marowak. Ooh. Well, that's a good candy. <laughs> no shiny, though. But Marowak at uh, 1494. <laughs> Let's check those IVs, shall we? PvP. Yeah. PvP. <laughs> I mean, it's close to that shadow bone. Oh, dude. It's 1491, actually. Well, he doesn't need it, but yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. Man, nothing to scrap about. Then uh, I got a back to back shiny. I went ahead and clicked on the ponyta, got the shiny, and right after that, I literally clicked on the metatite and got another shiny. So, 
back to back shiny, amazing. Uh, then I got, of course, a shiny Meryl. I was at the end tail of the park before I had to go do a loop around again. And then right after that, I, you know, Rufflet was spawning in the wild. Rare, but they were spawning in the wild, which I was happy about. So I got a shiny Rufflet out of the wild encounter. Yeah. Bleh. <laughs> Super jealous. Dude, oh I was so happy. Gosh. I saw it and I was like, oh my god, what the effing lasting luck is this? Um, especially with all the raids, you know. Uh, then, yeah. I, <laughs> then I went ahead and got not one, but two shiny seals. Dude, I still need that guy. To, I, I, I'm thinking about trading Julie for one. <laughs> to complete the family on one day safari zone, dude. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Not the best IBs. Uh, I'm gonna definitely check it in just a moment, guys. We just, <laughs> uh, I'm waiting for the spawn. Just have, give me the spawn. I, there are good Pokemons in the instance right now, and I definitely want to keep on going. And you'll know more about it when we talk about it in the news. Come on. Okay, hand over. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so two shiny Sleels. I was happy about that. One of them actually was through a quick drive through. Luckily, I didn't lo lose it, and then the other one was crappy IBs, anyways. Uh, then later on in the day, right before I actually left Riverwalk, I got a shiny Sangus, and then a shiny Hitmore. And so I got two shiny Hitmores now, and one for Trey Bait for sure. Oh yeah. And then the last one, of course, the one regional that will be spawning through the Safari Zone was Mr. Mine. Literally got it 30 minutes before the event ended. So you know, I I really liked having him spawn, but I I always get disappointed that Pokemon like him don't have the guaranteed extra large. Ah uh, no, I got a lot of Mister Mines just from just catching, anyways. Yeah, Sheesh. sixty Mister Mines. Sheesh. That's counting, you know, all the shinies and everything. So I do have quite a bit of shiny Mister Mines uh, for Trey Bait, just in case anybody wants them, because I just get them. I think my first Mr. Mine shiny was from the X, 7K X in the Ultra Reward back a couple of years ago. So I think I had to wait till the first Philadelphia event we had. I yeah. think. That was the, the other two or three that I got it within this one and the last one before that. So. Ooh, hey, 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 it's drowsy. Anyways. <clears throat> <laughs> um, no, definitely was an amazing experience just because it was kind of like I was up and going. Catching anything I see on site, finishing research, doing research, uh, making sure that I can spin everything. It was pretty good. I liked it. And my whole can speak for itself. 12 Shinies on a full day event like that. I mean, it could have been more, but uh, at some point, uh, the middle of the event, I had to actually go and meet family for Halloween, of course. And I mm -hmm. thought I was going to play more throughout because I, th I thought it was going to be another downtown area. But it kind of didn't work out with my family, so it's kind of like we all just moved to my neighborhood and they just spend the neighborhood there playing and yeah. trick or treating everywhere. So, so yeah, that's my whole, that's my things. Can't go wrong without it. All right, that's our holes for this week. Uh, and so now it's time to talk about some ending and beginning of things that we actually do and hold on cool okay nothing to talk about <laughs> all right so the halloween ca halloween event came and went today or yesterday was the last day at eight o'clock p.m eastern time or at least i'm sorry eight o'clock local time for everybody um mm -hmm. so let's talk about our experiences and once again to finish up rating we kind of gave it a 9.5 i think on each one of us <laughs> <laughs> yeah pretty pretty much um well, but, Halloween event was pretty stacked, yeah. 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 I think we don't change much from the last time we talked about it. Because we already kinda discussed it, the you know, raids and possibilities, shiny possibilities. <laughs> my friend, and I already told you about this, um my friend actually got a back to bat shiny driftlum with a costume. In two raids, I was like it, it's so hard to see other people uh, living your dream, you know? <laughs> and the worst part of it is he was in the car and he was with me throughout the day. It was the same day, too. I'm like, what the... <laughs> I sent him the first raid. Somebody else sent you guys the second raid. Dear Lord. Oh, my God, dude. I was... Miss. Well, you know, pissed, but you know. 
Uh, nice. I'm, I'm happy someone got it at least. Yeah, yeah. So eh, that, between that and just, you know, making sure that everybody gets their shinies. I didn't actually get, I think I only got like a shiny Shuppet and then just a lot of Dark Rise. Dude, so I'm, yeah, I'm still waiting on um, my Shuppet. I clicked on a good amount this Halloween. Yeah, so I'm okay with that. I would have liked actually getting you your mask, but once again, another year and another gone. Same. Same. <laughs> he he is a part of a, a certain event coming up, but we'll talk about that. Yeah, definitely. Um, oh, never mind. I actually got one right here. Yeah, no shiny. <laughs> I was like, imagine. <laughs> we talked about it Speaking and you got a full devil, yeah. shiny or something. <laughs> uh, let it be the handle. How about that? We'll take it. <laughs> so I can at least talk about a hundo today. It's like, oh. hey guys, I got a hundo. Nope. Next week, next week. Next week, yeah. Yeah, bring twice yeah. as many. So Halloween came and went. Thank you so much. Amazing event. Super good, super crazy. Um, super grinders too, but that was actually pretty good too. And then... Oh, candy. Yeah. You so, didn't even have to trick or treat. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> I will, actually, I ran out of treats and I had to tell everybody, I only have tricks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, oh, my gosh. I didn't restock well enough and my neighborhood is actually insanely crazy for halloween it, so it, so many people were saying that they barely had anyone that was last year this this year uh it, it was crazy how many kids were trick-or-treating like uh, i i know some places still don't have it as much but mm. oh my gosh there mm -hmm. is a lot of trick-or-treaters oh yeah no this one this year was crazy it was way more than kids than i thought <laughs> anyhow halloween it's over goodbye spooky season hello november uh, right before the end of that, of course, we did have our Safari Zone experiences, just like we have mentioned, our shinies and, hundo and things that we caught throughout the day. I caught so many Pokemons. I was just, like, catching anything. And I was running Lucky Eggs and Ninsets in the entire time. Lucky Eggs and uh, Star Pieces the entire time. So I, I, I actually <laughs> gained a good amount. I think I went from, like, 100,000 to 500,000 experience in only one or two days, anyway, so... Not bad. I'm 2.5 mil right now. I still need another 28 mil before I can actually call myself a true Pokemon Go grinder. But little by little, everybody. Little by little. All right. Let's see if the Cube and the Shiny. It is not. Let's move on. So Safari Zone. Now, for me, I, I'm okay. I was okay with the whole... I mean, I would have loved to actually have been able to hang out with somebody or do Safari Zone with somebody at that point. Chris, why were you now here with me? <laughs> I was working. Yeah, but then I couldn't do I it. I love it. I know, right? Um, but then after that, of course, we did have live events return for the very first time here during the Safari Zone. So Philadelphia was actually, from what I can see from the pictures... Pretty amazing, because the people out there are just, you know, pretty good people. I wanted to meet everybody. Trust me. I If I had the time, I had a little more time to plan, I would have been already in Philadelphia, probably coming back tonight for the podcast or the day before <laughs> or after the podcast. So, um, I didn't remember that I, when I bought my ticket, it was a Sunday day, and I thought it was going to be like a full weekend. Then I forgot about I that. Didn't... Yeah, I didn't remember either. Yeah. I mostly because I didn't think we were gonna have such a remake this early, I guess that's my real take. I thought that we're gonna keep live events probably until next year at this point. But the world is opening up, so it's time for us to go ahead and, and try to do our best for live events, definitely. So um I definitely would have wished to go to Philadelphia, but I'm not mad about the experience that I got just by playing around and actually, you know, doing it. I do remember though the last year, uh at least the far Safari Zone was actually on Mother's Day. So I was not able to go out and play because I was stuck at my mother's the entire day. So it was definitely a different experience from this year's uh go um Safari Zone. What about you, Chris? Oh, uh... My Safari Zone, I was at work, so I, di I didn't get to play too much, but I did throw an incense to try and get some of the special uh, spawns. Yeah. Um, I was pretty impressed with it. And then, obviously, when I got out of work, I drove around uh, a little bit, got to some good spots, and uh, hunted a tiny bit. I, di I didn't go too crazy, though. Yeah. Um, you know, one more parking lot to be popping off, though, with spawns. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, 
Yeah, I, I didn't get any of the ones I wanted, but um, I still thought it was a really fun event. Um, I mean, any shiny's welcome. Uh, just I, I didn't get uh, to scratch the itch of getting a new shiny, you know? No, that's so, uh, I, I was I was a little bit disappointed, but it, it was still fun. Well, I was going hard for the Thors. Uh, I still don't have a shiny Thor out there, so... Uh, luckily, and luckily, I didn't get one. I was hoping to get one that same day, but, you know... Beggars can be choosers. Also, Sable is giving you 1,500 Stardust from this event. Well. Too bad it's only two days for... <laughs> anyway, uh, but yeah, Safari Zones, good. Anything, just give us a little bit of heads up, Niantic. I really do wish I could have gone to the live event anyways. I'll keep on saying it until the end of time. <laughs> all right, that is all our recaps. Definitely, you know, all the things that we have experienced last week. We're a day late on our podcast today just because, of course, of Halloween. But it was a good thing because we're about to cover two pieces of information of news through our research topic. So the very first thing, and I'm sure that Chris doesn't want to actually say what it is, it's called Dia de los Muertos because I can say it better than him. <laughs> I'm fine with that. Say it. Dias los Muertos. All right, you're fired. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, Dia de los Muertos celebration, we did actually allude to this in the blog post last week. Uh, we finally found all the details, and we did say it's a two-day event starting today as a recording of this podcast. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about it real quick. Dia de los Muertos will start from November 1st, 10 a.m. to Tuesday, November 2nd at 8 p.m. local time. So tomorrow at 8 p.m. local time. It's done. It's done. So finish your collection challenge before that happens, though. So um, event bonuses. We have Lord Mojo's will last 90 minutes. Incest will last 90 minutes. And two times catch, catch Stardust for every single Pokemon. So if the Sableye is not a guarantee catch, good luck catching it. <laughs> uh, Trainers in Latin America and the Caribbean can also look forward to the following extra bonuses. Bonus transfer candy. Feature event Pokemon appear more often in the wild. Uh, feature event Pokemon that will be attracted even more frequently to incest and freak and feature event Pokemon will attract them even more frequently to a lower module. So they're getting the extra ump for actually being part of the uh, the Alolo Muertos, which they celebrate in the South and South America areas. Uh, collection challenge, just like I said, make sure you complete it. I actually can show you to you guys what the collection challenge is. We got Sunkarin, um, uh, Sunflora. Um, Roselia, Murkrow, Cubone, Houndour, Sableye, and Drifloom. So we do have a couple of ghost types still spawning after the Halloween event. So that's pretty good. Yay. Uh, then we have Go Battle Day, November 1st, from 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. tonight. Chris, I'm pretty sure you did not know anything about this. No, I, I didn't remember it. And then I saw the pop-up and I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, when you, of course, place throughout the goal whole battle day is four times start uh, does from win reward. So cool. But unfortunately, uh, by this point, I'm probably not going to do any of them. So, um, I may do like one set. I don't know. It's It's been annoying me with Go Battle League, but I really do want to push for Legend. And we are, of course, Ultra League, tough. Ultra Big Premier and the Halloween Cup, I think. So are we done with the Halloween Cup? I think they're still there, right? Yeah, still there. It'd be funny if it was over already. It's past Halloween. Why are you, why? Why are you playing Halloween? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, but, yeah. So, the future Wild Encounter Pokemon here, guys. We have Cubone, Sunken, Murkrow, Houndour, Sableye, and Roselia. And if you're lucky, you might encounter some Sunflora, Striftum, and Yamask. Just like you saw, I did catch a Yamask. So, uh, they're spawning, just luckily. <laughs> And two out of the three can be shiny, so that's pretty good. Sunflora spawning is actually pretty cool. I don't think I've ever seen a wild Sunflora. No, no. Um, the fact that you don't have to use a, a Sunstone, this is very welcome for people that don't grind the Poke Stops too often or yeah. don't hit that seventh uh, day too often so they don't get the evolution items. Yeah, or through just regular stop catching and everything, so that's interesting too. Yeah. Uh, then we have uh, Lure and Incense Encounters. We have Cubone, Sunken, uh, Sunken Sunflora, Murkrow, Houndour, Sebula, and Drifloom. So maybe I need to go to a Lure. <laughs> uh, if you're lucky, you might also encounter Alola, Marowak, and Yamask, which uh, it, they're also in Zizzo. That's cool. 
Uh, then after that, we have field research encounters. We have Cuba and Sunken and Roselia, and you may also encounter some ones with Alola and Berwick. All of them can be shiny. A free event box and avatar item. The free event box contains 20 Pokeballs and an incense. Nothing to scrap about, but it is free, so get it what you can. Uh, and then Dia de los Muertos t-shirts is also available in the shop for free. Spotlight hour tomorrow at 6 p.m. at local until 7 p.m. local time. We have Kenya with a plus benefit of two ca two times catch bonus. So catch candy bonus, sorry. Um, mm. So that and the Stardust, so that's an extra two two different types of bonuses throughout the hour. So that's pretty good. Maybe cactus. Yeah, cactus. <laughs> and then our research encounter breakthrough encounter, of course, will be Bolivi. And that's pretty much it. So far, the event has been running through the entire morning and afternoon and night. Chris, what do you think so far? Have you actually experienced this game so simply? Yeah, yeah, yeah I like it. Uh, the Dios de Muertos event is my favorite event ever. You forgot Los, really. Los Muertos. Uh, you forgot <laughs> Los in the part of Muertos, but you know. <laughs> it says Dia de Muertos on the, uh, on the event. Niantic, you messed up already. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, but, um, I don't know. I, I think it's like an after party for Halloween, pretty much. Yeah, basically. I, even though it's it's almost the um, the Hispanic version of Halloween. I know it's not the same, but it, it's it's almost the, like, I, it, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I, I do think it's like an uh, afterburner uh, party, almost. Um, very welcome spawns. Very cool. Love Stardust. Thank you. If you're happy enough about this, might as well just go around for the next 24 hours and actually play the entire event to get enough say what I can be. <laughs> For <laughs> yeah, I, um, I'm off tomorrow, so I am probably going to grind some Sableye, honestly. And a Marowak? Nope, not shiny Marowak. No. Anyways. <laughs> Imagine a level 50 Alolan Marowak in uh, Go Battle League. I'll take it. <laughs> this I, guy I wonder what he maxes out at, actually. Uh, do you have a Hondo? No. I don't either. Not that I know, at least. Marowak... No, and I'm a reap. Jeez, I don't know how to type. I'm like, let me check my highest IV and then we'll go from there. Uh, I don't think it even gets close to... Um, I'll just check PV Pokey. It maxes out somewhere around the 2000 mark, so... It's not, okay, it's not horrible. horrible, but maybe just this buddy and try to see if it can fit it in Ultra, ba in ultra Battles. Yeah, maybe if you're lucky, 2200 it looks like. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Not but high. that's the Ed Muertos. That is a celebration to celebrate, of course, parts of the country or parts of the world that we never really celebrate in this area specifically. So um, it's kind of nice. A little bit of change of pace. Not a bad thing. Another seven like, thank you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Keep them coming. I know, right? Uh, but uh, also the culture of it. Have you ever watched the movie Coco? Yes, it's very, very awesome. It's basically the same thing, just you know, spawns of Pokemons. So, <laughs> because that's okay. how that's how they celebrate. They celebrate, you know, uh, people who have passed away actually don't go uh, anywhere. Uh, they don't go anywhere. They go to a different world and a different um, afterlife. But they're always watching about you. But you always have to remember them through. Uh, just making sure that everybody remembers you, things like that. Uh, they put their favorite candies and food and, on the table. And that's a whole celebration that Dia de, uh, Dia de los Muertos is about. Mm -hmm. So not a bad thing, not a, cool, uh, not a um, bad way to celebrate something that usually it will only be celebrated in a secluded area of the world. Now everybody mm -hmm. can enjoy and maybe experience why something like this happens. So maybe that's why we got your masks, but you know. <laughs> I am not complaining. <laughs> definitely, definitely. All right, but that's the other mortals. Make sure you do what you can for the next 24, 36, 48 hours of the event. So, somewhere around there, I think. Uh, but with that being said, let's move on to the next piece of news. And I'll let Chris talk about this one because something light and shadow is coming. So. You guys already knew that the Festival 
of lights was coming. We talked about it last podcast. Uh, what we didn't know was that we are also going to get a debut of a new Pokemon. A very interesting Pokemon uh, type-wise. The Lightning and the, or the Electric and Fairy type Pokemon, Dedenne, is coming. But with Dedenne. Light also comes Shadow. Yes, so this is a two-part event, uh, which the second part will technically start in the middle of the first part, but this is how it's going to go. So, Festival of Lights is coming with the, with that, makes a devoting Pokemon, the Dene. It's finally, it's kind of finally going to come into Pokemon Go, just like Chris has mentioned, has the typing of electric and fairy type, so it has some diversity and some good tankiness, I guess, against uh, maybe Azumarill? <laughs> Chunky. Yeah, it'd probably be really good against Azumarill, yeah. Yeah, so chunky little Nedene, it's coming. Um, and just as it says here, the time has come for Light to overcome the shadow and much anticipated debut of the Dene, the Antenna Pokemon. As certain may be familiar with the Fetch of the Dice, it is time to rediscover and strengthen bonds with all those around you. So when is this going to start? This starts on November 5th at 10 a.m. local time to Sunday, November 14th, unless otherwise noted. That's a new one. Interesting. <laughs> a bonus is for this event. We're going to have uh, happiness, friendship, and how for gift uh, to the joy of any celebration. So we have friendship levels increase twice as fast. Make sure make note of your best friends out there. Uh, Guests will provide re uh, increased rewards, and you'll be able to open up to forty-five gifts per day. Always awaken edition because I definitely always want to open more than twenty or thirty. I don't even know. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, it, it feels like um, everybody wants to send gifts one day, and you can never open up enough to make everyone happy. Yeah, definitely. definitely. And that's what it feels like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Uh, of course, we do have the season of mischief continues with another part of the event. We're almost done with this because we're like. Just days, no, actually weeks away from the season of mischief actually ending, and we'll definitely have something cool, hopefully, happen during the end of that season. So, uh, then we have fireworks. So, during the event, we'll have a grand display of fireworks. Probably just look up this guy, Pokemon Go, and you'll see the little <laughs> kind of thing. So, <laughs> uh, pretty cool, I guess. Um, then we, have, of course, we already mentioned that the Dene is coming to Pokemon Go. While encounters, we'll definitely have some interesting encounters during this. So, we have Pikachu, Magnemite, Slugma, Wishmore, Electric, Blitzel, Cadney, Tynemo, Fennekin, and the Dene. With the luckiest Pokemons to find, Darumaka and Liquid. Which, what are the two of those? At least are shiny. What do you think of this fun pool? Uh, I can't say there's really any Pokemon except maybe Slugma that doesn't really look like a Pokemon I'll be catching. Uh, the mm. rest are really, really nice. Yeah. So I'm, I'm very happy with the spawn pool. That I, mean, is... I, I, I know a lot of people are probably Pikachu'd out like constantly though. <laughs> uh, Pikachu. At least it will be an actual Pikachu you can, you know, evolve. <laughs> transfer without you know getting a pop-up <laughs> i know right we also have blitzel which is uh, a welcome addition once again with the shiny has been released since the whole fashion week however this was something that you could only get as a custom so now it is available in the wild without its custom so you'll be able to evolve it to its final form if you get the shiny of course uh darumaka always a welcome addition i do still need the shiny and the hundo drift loom finally <laughs> finally got a drift loom <laughs> Uh, been 10,000 years. Dude, I've been looking for one just because I need to finish the challenge. I was watching your thing. <laughs> just <laughs> I didn't want to say anything. I know. Um, so finally, I finished that. I'll let you guys know the reward in a minute. Uh, then we have Frigo Reacher's Encounters. Uh, we have Volpix, Manamite, uh, Electabuzz, Magmar. Oh, and there's the pop-up. <laughs> Electri, Blissel, Darumaka, and Litlio. Pretty good. Um... Definitely going to go for any Darumaka encounters in the field research. 
Uh, <laughs> maybe some Magnemite for extra large candies, Blitzo for sure, and that's really about it. I don't really need Lactobos or, or the other one because, you know, Community Day and all that. <laughs> I will so I really I, I I really do like what they did with the spawn pool though. It's very nice. Yeah, very diverse, very nice. Uh, our Pokeballs are gonna suffer though because of all the uh, electables and magmars, anyways. But still. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, we do for them to run, yeah. And they'll also or, be actually their field research, my bad. I know, right? Uh, and we will have the Dene also in their field research encounter. So if you don't find a one in the wild, which at this point you probably will, you'll definitely be able to get a good one through the field research. Then we have raids. One star race. We have Charmander, Bulpix, Chinchow, Liquid, and the Dene. So the Dene is also being debuted in Wild and Raids. So I'm actually kind of okay with his debut. I, I'm like thinking that not gated to gate to to anything that may require either extra money. I think it's a welcome addition to to finally them learning. It's not all about the money. <laughs> I, I like that, um, yeah, they gave you multiple, multiple ways of getting it, you know, not yeah. just lucky either, so yeah, that's really cool. I, must. I, uh, I am kind of disappointed that Chin Chow is into raids only, but mm. well, there I will probably check it out. Yeah, <laughs> did I see? Anyways, <laughs> three star race we have Alolan Raichu, Electabuzz, Magmar, and Bella Blossom. An interesting Bell Blossom. I think Alolan on Raichu is the only one that I will probably go to just because I still need the shiny of that. We did have our five star race already mentioned. We have Cobalion, Terrakion, and Verizon, all three in the same spawn pool, and all can be shiny with their secret sword. Love it. Amazing. Uh, then we also have Mega Minetric coming back to Mega Raids for the duration of this event. And we also have an egg shakeup. We have Alolan, Geodude, Chinchou, and Pichu, Bulpix, Magby, Elikit, and Bidu. Interesting enough, they actually give us the tiers of how much we will be able to actually, you know, hash these eggs from them. Uh, Pichu, uh, Chinchou, and Alolan, Geodude being in tier 1, uh, hatchable eggs. Bulpix in tier 2, Magby and Elikit in tier 3, and Bid Bidu in tier 5. So not even, even 4, just 5. And all of them can be shiny, so... A lot to talk about out there. What do you think about that, that egg pool there? I may have to hatch seven kilometer eggs. For the Chinchou? Um, <laughs> yeah, Chinchou and Pichu. I, I've been playing since like June of the first uh, year of Pokemon Go. I still don't have a shiny Pichu. Mm -hmm. And definitely not from lack of try. Right. right. Oh no, my definitely. gosh, they've, been, they've had how many costumes and I've still not got one? I mean, it's oh like me and Togepi. I mean, I finally hatched my Togepi after like so long i think yeah. i still don't have an elect or a mag piece so this may be something that i do want to do yeah um definitely some decent spawns like pretty much all of them can be shiny right yeah yeah no all of them can be shiny all of them uh, every single yeah one. i don't i don't have any problems yeah uh with what they got yep 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 uh, <laughs> It's like, stop it, drowsy. Anyways, <laughs> uh, we also have uh, a little bit of an extra bonus for the people playing in India. So trainers in India can enjoy a brighter evening on Sunday, November 7th from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. local time. Blitzel and Dene will be appearing more frequently in the wild and two times catch candy will be active during the remainder of the hours there. So people in India, if you're listening to us, take advantage. Two times catch candy is always nice and neat. I mean, it's not going to be the only Pokemon that are going to be spawning. But that doesn't mean that you'll have some other Pokemon that you can actually take advantage of that. So, catch them while you can. Uh, we also have new avatar items and stickers. And those look Yay. pretty cool because there is a Dedene uh, backpack. <laughs> Not backpack, but like a little pouch. I can surely like the whole Dedene team there. <laughs> uh, Dedene shoes, what the heck? <laughs> Oh no! And we have some stickers, of course. The Dene Wilds. That's pretty good. I'm actually liking the Dene a little bit more. The Den Yeezys. <laughs> but just like anything with light, shadow must overshadow the events. In seems the festivalized events and Professor Willow's research into Hoopa might have caught Pokemon's or Team Go Rocket's attention. Reports indicate that Team Go Rocket plans to strike on Tuesday, November 9th. Stay tuned, trainers. More to come. 
because we will be able to charge TM a shadow Pokemon to forget the move frustration throughout those days. Thank okay. God, finally. <laughs> yeah, that, it always feels like each time they do the frustration off, it, it, there's such a large space in between till you can do it again. Um, and they always release like a bunch of new shadow Pokemon that are really cool. So yeah. it, it's it's very sad. Imagine a shadow to Dene off right off the bat. That'd be pretty good. <laughs> And of course, single rocket splinters will appear more frequently in Pokestops and balloons. Sunflora, hey guy, pretty cool. But uh, more information about the second part or the middle to second part of this event, more to come later on this week. So we'll probably have information either by the time the events, uh, the second part event starts, or before that nice podcast. So that would be kind of nice once we get that information going. Got a Lugia, uh, please. Shadow look, yeah, please. And that's what you think. <laughs> uh, but then it's the Festival of All Lights. I'm actually liking the event. It looks pretty cool. A lot of cool sponsored diversity. And then it just comes and goes, you know? Like, what do you think so far, Chris? Yeah, I, th I think it's pretty good. Um, definitely a really uh, popular Pokemon mm -hmm. amongst uh, cutesy Pokemon fans. I think it's going to be very relevant for PvP. Uh, so I don't think a lot of people are going to be complaining about it spawning all over the place, especially since it's not Pikachu. That's true. That's true. And it's actually <laughs> kind of nice. Wait, what? Oh, there's a new blog post that was just added. Thank you very much for uh, talking about Pokemon Go Philadelphia, which it looks like it took down. <laughs> wow. Anyways. Uh, but yeah, so far so good. Events seems to be popping off. I see Murkrow in my nearby, and I don't want to see them again. So, <laughs> um, they're too hard to catch, man. Yeah, uh, there will be something interesting that we'll talk about during the uh, data mining just a moment here. Um, but yeah, uh, events wise seems pretty cool. Then we're talking about new gyms and stops. Chris, have you noticed any difference in the last few days? A tiny difference. I, I didn't I didn't really look at it though. Mm. <laughs> so implore me. So there has been a little bit of change thanks to the other games that Niantic has just released and other things that they have a uh, point of interest. Uh, as you guys don't know, Niantic has released their new Nintendo affiliate game called Pikmin. Or Pikmin Bloom, right? So, people are yes. talking about it. They're playing it, of course. It's another Niantic game where you go and get out and just decorate the world with flowers. But I'm not going to get too much into detail how the game works. However, the point of interest have actually trickle, trickled in to Pokemon Go out here. So, we do have new gyms, new stops, and new sponsors. And it looks like in the coming days, maybe, as soon as probably tomorrow morning, we'll see some Circle K stems and stops coming around well i like that yes yes so uh places where you basically put gas for more adventuring on the go <laughs> um but we also have um new spawns and new like in my area at least in my workplace i had three four stops technically five stops in a gym in the same plaza now i have four stops in a new gym so two gyms in the same plaza so there's wow. definitely been a little bit of a change. Um, if you guys know, if you guys notice something out there, make sure you report it to your community and say, even SCF got two new gyms. Yeah, I, I did notice that there was more uh, Pokestop showing up in a few places, but yeah. I, th I thought I was just getting lucky. Yeah, no, it is actually happening all around the maps and everything. So check your local areas again. See if everything. Unfortunately, still don't see another gym in my area. So I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I'm 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 happy. I'm happy through those changes. Now let's get into a little bit of an epic mind before we uh, close off our thoughts and feelings about our research topics today. Um, there has been a little bit of changes in them data mining. So once again, guys, data mining. Doesn't uh, break uh, terms of service of the game, but talking about it, it's okay. So just be careful when you do it. 
Uh, we do have some interesting stuff happening, some changes between uh, maybe a change selection for permeables um, throughout rates. It says that there is an active rate ball selection button during the rates screen. So maybe a change in rate uh, and maybe we'll have, I don't know, luxury balls or something to see if we can catch the Pokemons with it even lower catch rate Pokemon anyways. <laughs> That would be funny. What do you think that they can come come up with, Chris, for the raids? For something new for raids? Right, like a new ball for raids, basically. Uh, the main thing that comes to mind is a master ball. That's the main thing. But why would you have or, a... <laughs> or 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 a quick ball? So, something cool like that. Um, because mm. we still haven't seen the master ball. Are we just gonna get one? Or is it going to be something that we can earn over time? Well, um, that's yeah. just something that's been on my mind for a while. Well, all they say is just there's going to be a selection during the raid or a, right when in the encountering of the Pokemon that you'll be able to switch over maybe to another premierable base type Pokemon. Pokeball. So, yeah, I don't know. This may be an interesting thing to find. Uh, Psychic Fan uh, has been implemented, but there's also two other moves. They have implemented in the game, and that's called Hyperspace Fury and Hyperspace Hole. Interesting, right? Mm -hmm. Interesting for sure. Hyperspace Hole. I thought Hyperspace is. I mean, it either sounds like Dialga and Palkia's move or just like um, Hoopa's moves or something, you know? Yeah, yeah. It makes me think of uh, Gen 7 a lot. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It seems interesting when it comes down to it. There's been a little bit of... Whoo, uh, yeah. <laughs> There's been a, just a small little change in the PvP Kappa settings. Uh, nothing too noticeable, but it says that the minigame submit score timing was lower to 6.5 seconds instead of 10 seconds. Again, it's not an immediate change, but it's something to be wary when you're starting to do Go Battle Leagues with a new update. Also, the Denny has lost his parabolic charge into his move pool, so I'm guessing they're not ready to release that move just yet. I'm strong. Uh, there's been some new assets found. I'll show it to you guys here. Uh, we have a Play 3D asset that looks like a Hoopa Ring, Postcard Collection, Palette Customizer, Impact and Psychic Fan Effects, Pin, Press, and Unpress, I'm guessing for tagging, and then Water Borders. Interesting. Maybe different types of borders, things like that. I don't know. Uh, there has been one last thing here, I think. Yes. So this chest been pushed to the APK mine, and I'm sure that this is something to do with um, the event that will be for Diamond and Pearl remakes later coming later this month. We have a Diaga, a Palkia sticker, a Lucario, Chimchar, Piplup, and Turtwig stickers. They're definitely going to go ban with the uh, collaboration be with, with the Baking Series games, and I'm happy and all for it. Here. Are we ready? <laughs> uh, that's pretty much it. I just want to at least touch base on, on some of the things that have just been found in the APK mine. So it's not that bad. Do you think anything crazy may happen soon, Chris? Uh, I can't expect too much craziness to happen until we get closer to the new games, yeah. I would assume. Yeah, true that. Um, but, you know, we could get pleasantly surprised in between then and now. Ooh, the requirement for, um, for completing your collection challenge is a Sheninja. Ho, 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 ho. I was wondering why it was on the picture, so that does make sense. Yeah, yeah, at least you get one, but Sheninja will always be, as far as we know, just a research encounter. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit sad that you can't get it from evolving, but I guess uh, it would kind of screw up their code to get two Pokemon every single time you evolve. Well, I would assume that they should already release the shiny for this, even though the shiny is not even much different. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, it is what it is. My friend has a Hondo Shininja. No point of canning it, but you know. <laughs> he has two HP now. <laughs> Actually, they have 12, oh, but you know, that's a like Pokemon Gold yeah. matrix, and it comes down to uh, Pokemon Gold logic. Yeah, I know, right? 
Uh, but yeah, that's all we really have for research topics for today. There may be a little bit more, maybe coming days. Uh, but I'm definitely hyped for those first of all lights. The other mushroom seems okay, but as long as we get the extra large candy. My cell service sucks today, so I really can't go out and grind tonight. Um, but yeah, so far so good. How about we get into some PvP goodness? Get good, get wreck. Here we go. Woohoo! <laughs> So, we did mention uh, from the blog post, uh, the battle day is here, and yeah, that's all I gotta say. How about you? <laughs> yeah, I, I personally haven't done too much. If you want to get your grind on, you know, get your PvP in, uh, I'm very happy for the change, I will say. Uh, there's a few things to note. Uh, it's pretty much the same as the Lasco battle day. Uh, the PvP... Um, goes, uh, what, five sets? Yeah, five sets that you can do uh, anytime throughout Go Battle Day. And also, something to note, the Pokemon you get in the Go Battle League encounters do not have a floor of 10-10-10 only during Go Battle Day. Uh, this could be seen as either a very good thing or very bad for you. I saw some people get their uh, Pikachus, the... um the luchador uh pikachus and they had horrible ivs and they they couldn't figure out why mm. uh yeah that's why the it's a uh, go battle day so uh if you have certain pokemon if you want like dark rye encounters or you you have your uh, pikachu from hitting legend i would hold off that maybe uh depending on how much you actually care about the IVs. If not, just get your battles in. Get your Stardust. Um, can't can't really go wrong. I'm probably not going to go too hard uh, today, but you know, I uh, can't beat catching up on some uh, some sets or go battle league. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I could probably do like maybe one or two, but that's because I'm getting closer and closer to the grind to level fifty. I might as well just get to level to to rank number ten as soon as possible, and then just get it out of the way. So I don't have to worry about yeah. it next season or something. So, yeah. Not too shabby. Uh, so, yes, be ready, of course. The Go Battle Day is ending tonight. So by the time you hear this podcast, the podcast service feed, it does it. Anyways. <laughs> uh, any factions updates? Uh, yes. Uh, so we um, got some new people in the faction. Uh, pretty happy about that. I'll talk more about that uh, next week. But um, we're going to be starting. Uh, the faction starts tonight. Uh, so we find out who we're going to be paired up against. Um, which actually, let me check right now. Because uh, I should have found out about an hour ago. But obviously we're doing the podcast. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, we're still in the same league. Um, it's only the top uh, group in each uh, like uh, ladder that moves up to the next one. So we're trying to fight out of uh, where we're at, where where we are at, uh, to try and get to bronze. Um, I think we definitely have a very good chance. I love that we have um, even more people uh, just to kind of mess with uh, this round. So. Uh, I think it's going to be interesting. Uh, let's see who we got paired up against. We got paired up against Play Rough Riders. Hmm. Interesting. Oof. Their win loss is about 50. Um, but, uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully we can uh, do well here. Uh, very uh, excited for this season. We'll let you guys know how it goes. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, definitely, definitely. So keep on the lookout for any future updates each week. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> All right. With that being said, is there anything else to add, Chris? Um, oh, yeah. Um, I've heard news that there have been Lickitung encounters out in the wild for Catch 3 Pokemon uh, with lickitung is the reward um keep this in mind thinking about uh the next community day giving you uh pretty much guaranteed extra large candies um, yes 
So if you are able to stack a bunch of Lickitungs at the back of your research encounters, I would highly recommend it for extra large candies. Yes. Yes, definitely, definitely, definitely do that, guys. <laughs> That's good to know. Thank you, Chris, for the update on that. All right. With that being said, I think, Chris, that is everything that we have to cover for the night. Uh, I have another half an hour of my answers, but let's close out the podcast, shall we? Uh, thank you once again to everybody for listening to the podcast. You can always find us on any of the podcast fees. Make sure if you do, don't forget to share us with your friends, family, and if you can leave a review, we would greatly appreciate it. Uh, we also have, of course, our socials, myself at Pure Lighter Go and Chris at Pokemon PKMN Trigger, please. Uh, you can always email us any info or anything that you want to talk to us about at the Purify Podcast at gmail.com. Definitely would love to hear from you. And of course, you can check us out at the PurifyPodcast.com, the Professor Network. So, with that being said, I got nothing else to add. Chris, it's about to you to take us away for the night. All right, all right. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying the events that we were getting uh, this time of year. Um, after uh, the current event, we're going to be getting ready for Thanksgiving and the uh, Christmas event. So I hope you guys are mm -hmm. getting excited for that in the future. Uh, but, you know, get out there, grind, get your shinies. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you next week. Thank you very much. Peace out. Uh, keep your fun trainers, and we'll see you guys next time. Have a good night.